So in order to get started with field change versus validate field, which entry points trigger first? Whether the field change get triggers first or the validate field get triggers first. So I already created a client script file which has these two functions which is field change function and validate field function. So if I just scroll up, in my validate field I can see only one log which is console.log which says validate field triggered on particular field ID. So in whichever field the valid field get triggered, I am logging that particular field ID. If I go back to field change, the field change also, I have added a condition for particular memo field. There is a field change happening on the memo field. So the log is going to get triggered. I have already uploaded this code in my Netsuit account. So if I go to script and if I just select script, coming to the deployments, it has been applied on the sales order. So I'm going to navigate to transactions, sales, and I will click enter sales order. So usually this console.log will get executed on browser console. So I'm going to click function F12. Okay, I'm already in the console now. So let me clear this. If I just come to sales order, let's say I'm going to change some value in memo or enter a new value in memo, let's say UI creation, and I'll tab off. So you can see the first function which got triggered was validate field. So validate field triggered on field ID, which is memo and the field change triggered on field ID memo. So this actually confirms that validate field is the one which gets triggered first and then the field change. Usually this kind of questions will be asked in interviews. That's your technical interviews, which gets triggered first. Is it validate field or field change? And here you have the answer now.